Here's a live look at Truvy Radar for you. You notice a lot of green on the map. That's the rain that's falling across most of the area with a few pockets of moderate rainfall, which is the yellows near Lebanon up towards Lafayette, just north of Williamsport as well. As we slide to the south, it's a light, steady rain from Shelbyville to Columbus, Nashville, Bloomington, Martinsville. Everybody's dealing with wet roadways at this hour. But again, it was around 4 or 5 o'clock that we saw that burst of wind come through with gusts up to about 40, 50 miles per hour and that heavier rainfall. Uh, but again, that has now moved off to the east. And as you look westward, what you see is more in the way of just scattered showers. You see this big spin in the atmosphere. That's the area of low pressure. And we have snow on the backside of it. Uh, we have no snow in this forecast. And this area of low pressure is going to head uh, towards the Chicago area. And the band of rainfall out ahead of it is what we're dealing with right now. And it's moving through very, very quickly. So again, the wettest period of the day is going to be what's happening right now. And as far as the wind speeds go, anywhere from about 10 to 16 miles per hour. But these will start to pick up as we get into the course of the afternoon. So your morning drive impacts kind of medium range uh, here for some slick spots because of the rainfall and then also the wind gusts that could be up to about 20 to 30 miles per hour, especially if you drive one of those SUVs, uh, hands uh, 10 and 2 on the wheel as you could be blown across the roadway just a little bit. As far as the rainfall goes from this point forward, let's fast forward to 9 o'clock this morning into the 10 o'clock hour. Again, everything's just very scattered in nature, so you'll need the rain gear throughout the course of the entire day, uh, but there will be some dry hours this afternoon and into the evening as well. 3.30, some scattered showers, wind gusts up to about 20, 30 miles per hour at that point as well. And then we'll start to taper things off and quiet it down as we head into the overnight hours. Here's a live look from downtown right now to the north. And earlier this morning, we had all the rain on our camera lens. Not the case here this morning. Uh, currently, as the heaviest of the rain has moved off towards the east, 56 degrees, that is the current temperature. Sunrise officially here at 7.58 this morning. 57 in Bloomington, 55 is the current temperature improved, 59 in Muncie. Our normal high this time of year is 39 degrees, so well above normal. So this morning we deal with the light steady rain, tapers off to scattered showers, but notice the temperature trend throughout the day. It'll be on the decrease, 49 degrees by 4 p.m. Then overnight tonight, temperatures will fall back down into the 40s under a partly cloudy sky. Mostly cloudy to start tomorrow, then partly cloudy, still well above normal as highs will be right around 50 degrees. It's a pretty nice day for us. And then we'll turn our attention to Wednesday. Wednesday is when a strong front is going to come through, and it's really going to decrease our temperatures, but it does not have much in the way of moisture to work with whatsoever. So while Wednesday there could be an isolated shower, it's really basically going to be a front that is going to drive with the cold air in here. So by the time we get to Friday, the cold air will be in place, and you see it right here in our seven-day planning forecast. As we go throughout the next few days, we're still above normal. Once we get to the tail end of the work week and into the weekend, it is much colder. A high of only 32 on Saturday after we wake to temperatures in the low 20s and even the teens in some areas.